All right, so we're back with the uh, Project Skyhook Bitcoin vending machine. I've got my phone here. I'm going to tether an internet connection and see if we can hook up to this without having to log into a Wi-Fi or anything like that. So I'm plugging in the back side and sounds like it's already taken power. Kind of like a rattly hissing noise coming from down in there. I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm going to power on the tablet with the button that says located on the top inside of the unit. I presume that's going to be this little silvery button here. Maybe not. Nope. All right. Hmm. I'm open to ideas. <laughs> You're looking for a silvery button? Um, no, it just says a button located on the top inside of the unit, which... Top inside... I'm not seeing anything immediately. Maybe it's on the other side of this. Hmm. All right, well, this is going to be a pretty boring video. <laughs> and it looks like there's like an indicator. That's a, definitely a power indicator there. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's there's like, so this is a tablet on the front here. Right? Uh-huh. Like a Nexus or something Oh, like so that. the tablet. So the tablet the itself, okay. I think, is actually on this side here, maybe? Aha! Looks like a good sign. Okay, I'm able to get it to do that. <laughs> Okay. So Cyanogen Mod is a custom ROM for this tablet. This isn't the default uh, whatever Google tablet software. This is special customized software here. So it wants me to set up the wireless network first. This is my cell phone, LRNFM Mobile. So the idea is if I can run the tethering for my cell phone, I can be out at the Cheshire Fair or something like that. They're not going to provide internet access, but I should be able to. So now I have to authorize it in my phone. Okay, so I've given this permission. And we should have internet at this point. So now it's saying it wants me to reboot by holding down the tablet's power button and selecting reboot from the options. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. And reboot. I say, I am quite curious to know what that hissing noise is. Is it the money receiving device? Is it constantly like spinning? Sounds like it. 
So one of the things that you know, might be kind of frustrating about this unit is obviously it's really small, which is kind of cool. It makes it cool looking, but it also makes it seemingly pretty difficult to service this thing. Um, it's not it's not difficult to get the cash box out. That's pretty easy. But then to actually like take out the money receiver and to service that, because it's going to get dirty if it passes through, you know, a thousand bills or I don't know how many bills it is. Maybe it's twenty thousand. Who knows how long? How many cycles it has to go through before you have to open that thing up and you know clean it off with some alcohol? Okay, so it says wait sixty seconds so the Raspberry Pi, which is one of the devices in here, I'm not sure which. Uh, so the Raspberry Pi has time to reboot, and then it's going to ask us to launch Firefox. So, like, you know, in order to mount this thing, we did get mounting hardware, but you've got to be able to get down to these bolts. Now, there's two bolts there. Those are relatively easy to reach. You could get, you know, an extension and wrench set and get to those. But then there's the two bolts on the front, which I think are going to be a much more significant challenge to, uh, to actually get to. I don't know. I've, I've emailed the company, like, you know, is there a service manual for this, or do I just have to just kind of hack into it? What do they re recommend pulling out first? Because, you know, the last thing I want to do is do something incorrect and break a, a thousand dollar device. All right, let's give it a try. So we'll try Firefox. Once loaded, long press on the screen, select kiosk mode from the available options, and set your password. Unable to connect. Okay, maybe that means the uh, Raspberry Pi hasn't booted up yet. Looks like we do have Wi Fi. Now, the 192168 is usually a local network, that's not on the internet anywhere, so that to me is this device the Google device or the tablet trying to connect to the Raspberry Pi, presumably. Okay, so let's try this. Long press on the screen, select kiosk mode, set your kiosk password. And then exit kiosk mode it asks for. If no screen is able to load, wait 30 seconds. And make sure kiosk mode is disabled and refresh or close the tab. All right, so I'm gonna to try to put this password in again. Can you step away? Okay, now I'm trying to connect again. It says unlocking. Let's try reloading that page. Nope, still unable to connect. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Presume this Raspberry Pi is turned on, but maybe pressing that gray button turned it off. But it's not like pressing when I touch it, so I don't think that's an actual button. Hmm. All right. Well, I am out of ideas. Do you want to try plugging it into a direct uh, line? I don't think that's the issue. It's got Wi-Fi. Right. But right now what it's trying to do is connect to the Raspberry Pi. So this device is trying to connect to 
I think. You only did one like reboot, right? Uh, yes. Maybe another reboot. Oh, never hurts to try. Let's see here. All right. Okay. full minute before, but I don't know, I think it would have been coming up by then, it was definitely more than a, a minute. Okay, it came up with a message saying, tethering or hotspot active. The Wi-Fi icon is fully lit. Cut it for a moment. We'll give it a minute to. No, I mean, okay. I'm just doing this uh, video full, um, so we can get the full effect of how long does it really take right. from starting to try and set this up to finished. So far, it's been under 12 minutes. So not perfect right out of the box, but it's pretty pretty close. If you can get it working in under 15 minutes, I'd say that's pretty good. Looks like it has power. I'm pretty skinny and I have a tough time reaching past a lot of this stuff here. I'm actually going to take the cash box out at the moment. Although I don't think that'll be a problem. It does say it should. It does say it should be unplugged before you do that. All right. Well, I think it's probably been about a minute. Yep. That looks a little different. Um, let's just go well, that's what we got at first, and then oh, it turned into this. Yeah. yeah, my guess is that means there's something wrong with the Raspberry Pi if this thing is unable to connect, and or something is disconnected. So I think at this point, I'm going to have to email them for tech support. Okay. Because I don't know, we don't know what, what to do. Else to do. Maybe try power cycling the whole thing? deal with this stuff all the time. They've supposedly sold over 150, I think, of these so far. Yeah, I have so, a friend, uh, Mad Bitcoins has one. I'll have to ask him how he yeah. got it set up. So it'd be nice to, I mean, they were relatively quick responding earlier, so I'll just send another message to them and see what they say and we can pick it up from there. Cool.